It's been a contentious few weeks during which attorneys representing the four former MPD officers signaled how they're going to argue for their clients. If they're all tried together, in a case like this, what you have is crossfire. Normal pretrial behavior, according to University of St. Thomas law professor Mark Osler. They're going to be blaming one another. And it's easy to imagine that from a defense attorney's perspective, you don't want that. Uh, it's like being on a, a discussion panel where everybody's shooting at you versus giving a lecture. Osler says avoiding that crossfire would be at the benefit of former officers Chauvin, Tao, Lane, and King. The opposite is true for the prosecution for several reasons. They, of course, don't mind that crossfire, but there's some really principled reasons that they would want to keep it together as well, some of which were cited in the hearing this morning. For example, we have um, witnesses here who are children. Osler is referring to the young woman who was behind the camera capturing George Floyd's last moments under Chauvin's knee. She is a teenager. Having people who are juveniles or otherwise vulnerable testify multiple times adds to their trauma. And for that reason, it makes sense to have them tried together despite the risks of the, the crossfire happening. Well, I guess it could go either way. Uh, just not giving the witness trauma is a good thing for either side, really. Yes, and that's something that's going to appeal to the court because it's not self-interested the way some of these other arguments are. And rather, it's in the interest of an innocent party, which is a 17-year-old with a cell phone with which she, she took the video. And if the four were to be tried all together, it has an impact on the jury's decision as well in not so obvious ways. Osler says one verdict could be a factor in the others. Once jurors are in the room and they're debating, they often will try to come to some kind of a compromise. And sometimes that'll be uh, letting off one of the defendants. So that's a dynamic that can work in the defense's favor if they were tried together. The other dynamic that you have to keep in mind, and this plays into the decision that the judge has to make, is that it can be less work for the judge to try everybody together because you just have the one trial. One trial would also mean that it is less time in court for everybody involved. This is an argument that did come up this morning at the pretrial hearing. However, Judge Peter Kale has yet to make a decision on this matter. Jana. Thank you, Sharon. And speaking of those decisions, like she said, not made in court today. What typically happens is Judge Cahill will take all of the things that were discussed in court under advisement and then will give out written decisions as the judge makes them.